Hey guys, Taylor here, the FedEx Bad Fact with another video. You know, China is a very old country with a lot of history. They have a really rich history. And one of the things that I really love about living here is being able to visit some of these historical places that uh, uh, date back a long ways. Now, today I'm going to be heading to a place called Shan Wan Ancient Village. It's in the Panyu area of Guangzhou. And uh, this place was built uh, during the Southern Song Dynasty in 1127. So it's pretty old and it's supposed to be one of the best kept or uh, best preserved ancient villages in southern China. So I'm going to head over there today to check it out. Uh, apparently they got some decent food there and it's supposed to be a really nice place. So let's get going here. So I made it to Pan Yu, and you want to get off at Sh uh, Shichiao Metro Station, or yeah, Shichiao Metro Station on Line Three. And actually, there are several buses that go there. You can take the K three four nine bus or the Pan Seven or Pan Twelve. Uh, I'm just going to take a DD just because the buses are a little bit confusing. I'm not sure where exactly the bus stop is. So I looked it up on DD. I'm going to take a car there. It's only about 25 RMB. Uh, you know, it's like five US dollars, not even that. So I'm just gonna take a car there from the metro station. I'm just walking to find a good spot to call it to. Uh, then I should be there soon. It's quite early in the morning. It's not even 9 a.m. yet. I'm a little bit early, so uh, I'm in no rush really. I'm just gonna head over there, uh, get a car, and uh, we should be there soon. So I just got out of my booty and just arrived at Shawan Ancient Town. And yeah, this place, you can definitely tell it's old. The architecture is quite nice actually. And uh, it's about 9.30 a.m. Things are starting to open up. I'm gonna walk around for a bit, just explore, maybe grab a nice cold beer, and then uh, eventually we'll get some food. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna explore pretty much. Let's go. shops around here selling drinks and food and stuff like that. Uh, I'm gonna take a look. I think I need an ice cold beer or something. Maybe some kind of snack. I'm not sure. A little too early to eat. I didn't have breakfast but I'm gonna sort of save myself for lunch. But uh, I'll just keep walking around and see what I find. Found a place to get an ice cold beer. Nothing like an ice cold beer on a hot Guangzhou morning. Uh, I'm gonna keep walking around and just relax. Check it out. Uh, this is a nice place, really nice. Love the architecture of the buildings. Um, there's a lot of neat little shops here selling stuff. Um, yeah, just gonna keep walking around. This is some kind of noodle shop, I guess. A lot of tea shops around here as well. Uh, 
Sweet South Fourth. Cool. It's gonna be hard to decide what we're gonna have for lunch. I don't know. It seems like there's quite a few good restaurants here. Uh, maybe I'm gonna go back to that one later. But, uh, I'm just gonna keep walking around and see. trying to make my way to Wenfeng Tower. That's the name of the place that I want to go check out. There's a cute little dog here. He's following me. Or he's leading the way, actually. Check it out. Walking down this way. Oh, there he goes. Let's live here, I guess. I love this kind of places. Really just... Places like this make you really feel like you're in China, you know? Guangzhou's a really big city. I, you know, I live in the central business district right downtown, so oftentimes you kind of forget that you're in China, but places like this really remind you. So I'm just about to get some an early lunch here. I came back to the, one of the restaurants I first saw when I got here. Uh, I just ordered some food. I got some um, some duck and rice, um, some fried milk. I don't know if you've ever had it before, but apparently this area is very famous for it. And um, some other fried dumplings. I'm not sure if they're shrimp. I can't. I can. I can tell if it was shrimp or pork. Some kind of fried dumplings. I have to check. Uh, when it gets here, and of course, another ice cold beer. And it's so cheap, the food is so cheap, there's only 57 RMB. Um, that's like, oh geez, it's like less than 10 US dollars. Um, it's great. Uh, but I'm just waiting for the food to come here. I'm starving. I haven't eaten anything yet. Didn't have breakfast this morning. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to this food. I just finished a lovely little meal there. Uh, only 57 RMB, like I said before. I'm gonna finish this beer, I'm gonna walk around for a little bit, and then I think I'm going to head back to the city center. Uh, it's a nice place. Nice place, uh, perfect for a little day trip. Uh, if, you're in Guan if you're in Guangzhou, 
want to get away from the city center, this is perfect for a little day trip, actually. Um, yeah. I like this place. I got one more ice cold beer from that 7-Eleven over there. I'm just waiting for my DD. My DD is gonna come and pick me up, take me back to the subway station, and then I'm home. Then, oh, then I'm going home, I should say. Um, I had a great day today. It was a very nice day, really nice place. I'd recommend it to anybody looking for a good day trip away from the city center of Guangzhou. And it's nice to uh, see places like this, these old places, uh, they've got a lot of history behind it very interesting uh, great architecture the food is decent uh, it's just an interesting place I'd recommend it to anybody that's Sha Wan Sha Wan ancient town all right guys uh, that's it for the video today stay tuned for some more amazing food videos beer videos and fitness videos coming your way as well as videos on life in China so be sure to subscribe to the channel for some more videos Till next time this is Taylor the fit expat have a great day